In this video, we're going to discuss using constraints in Onshape. Many of the constraints you create in Onshape are created automatically. As you sketch in Onshape, inferences to other geometry will automatically appear. You can also wake any sketch geometry you want by hovering over that entity for a moment with your cursor. This will wake up the reference and makes it easy to constrain while sketching. We'll be covering inferencing in more detail as a separate topic in the future. There are two ways to show the constraints of a sketch. You can show all of the sketch constraints at once, or you can show the constraints associated with an individual piece of geometry. To show all the constraints in the sketch at once, click the Show Constraints checkbox in the sketch dialog. With this checked, you'll see constraint icons in the graphics for all the constraints you've created in that sketch. But if you don't want to see all the constraints in your sketch, you can show the constraints of an individual piece of sketch geometry by simply hovering over it with your cursor. If you move your cursor over the constraint icon, the sketch geometry associated with that constraint will highlight. A tip is you can use the shift key to keep the constraint icons visible on the screen when moving your cursor. This can make it easier to select them. One important thing to note as you're getting started is the constraint icons are generally either blue or white. A blue constraint icon indicates a constraint that is associated with something outside of that sketch. For instance, your geometry is constrained to the origin or an edge of a previous feature. A white constraint icon indicates a constraint between entities within that sketch. As mentioned earlier, many of the constraints you create in Onshape are automatic, but there will be times when you need to add a constraint manually. To do this, simply left click the sketch entities that you want to constrain, then click the constraint that you want in the toolbar. You can also select the constraint from the toolbar first, then click on the sketch geometry that you want to constrain. This is particularly useful if you want to add several of the same constraints, as the command remains active until you deselect it or press the escape key. We'll be discussing the various constraints and examples where you might use them in the future. One final thing to mention, you can delete a constraint by left-clicking the constraint icon in the graphics and clicking the delete key on your keyboard. 